So let's talk about revving up our metabolism. Our bodies, Dr. Oz, are not the same when we're in our 40s as they are in our 20s and our 30s. Uh, and that's one of the biggest challenges for folks if they want to lose weight. Not just eating less, which can be done more easily if you know little t tips and tools to cut your satiety, but you also want to increase your metabolism a little bit. And you can often do that through food. And you know what we're spending all week long doing is talking about fat-fighting techniques uh, and solutions. And we're going to start off with metabolism because it's one of the simplest things. I'll give you an example. Um, medium chain triglycerides. That sounds like a big word. Yeah, sure does. MCT, that's how they're abbreviated. You'll see that now in health food stores all over the place. MCTs are these very short little fats, not like the big fats that come, for example, when you eat an animal uh, meat, but very short little fats. These are sent right to the liver. The liver metabolizes them, similar to how it might metabolize a sugar, and quickly disperses it and uses it for energy, so it stimulates your metabolism. When you take middle chain triglycerides into your diet, MCT into your diet, you tend not to gain weight. What's the great source of it? Coconut oil. One of the reasons we think coconut oil is so healthy for us, and again, in Southeast Asia, it's a common staple, but in this country, it's relatively new, but becoming increasingly popular, is it's a one-to-one -one replacement for butter, which has those long fats. The long fats get, don't get absorbed into your body the way that the short fats are. They get in, absorbed as in their totality the way that you eat them. They go into your bloodstream, they hang around, they get deposited on your thighs. So, <laughs> yes. so coconut oil, especially if you can get about a, a tablespoonful a day to replace the butter you might have had, uh, or you can take it in MCT concentrated form, you know, 10 to 20 grams a day, will give you a lot of that benefit without the side effects. Those are the kinds of tips when people realize them, they think, you know what, instead of buying pads of butter, I can buy uh, coconut oil, leave it on my kitchen shelf, it's just as stable as butter, I can use it to make my eggs in the morning. Well, I was gonna say, would you use it in the food or would you really just be having a, a tablespoon of it on its own? In the Oz household, we put the coconut oil in the food. So when my wife makes, Lisa is a much better chef than I would ever be, uh, makes me eggs in the morning, she'll actually use the coconut oil instead of butter in the bottom of the pan. And then she puts the eggs on top of that. It has a little bit of an exotic taste to it. I actually adore it, but I also know it's better for me. It's those kinds of little nudges to what we do that are easy for everyone to adopt. And at the end of the day, you lose weight and people say, well, how'd you do that? And you say, I don't know, it was really easy. That is probably the most common thing I hear on the show. When I ask people how they lost 30 pounds or 50 pounds or 150 pounds, they say, it was really easy, much easier than I expected. I just did a few things right, but I did them every day. If you automate your life in the kitchen so coconut oil is your main cooking oil, well, guess what? You're going to be making one of those decisions. I'm going to do that tomorrow. You can bet that. Is there anything else? Well, if you really want to boost your metabolism, besides building muscle mass, which I know takes a little time, and you want lean muscle mass, not the big bulky right. kind. Yeah. Those are the core exercises, the squats, the planks. Now, those are so simple to do. You can, you know, you can incorporate them into almost any activity during the day. Even a better posture builds up core right. muscle mass. But of the foods, nice job. Yeah, I know I said that better uh, posture. Capsaicin. Capsaicin is, uh, is what makes chili spices hot. It actually stimulates your metabolism and increases satiety. So if you have capsaicin, going back to eggs in the morning, if you have capsaicin in your eggs in the morning, uh, it'll, you'll actually be, eat less at that lunch. But of course, many folks get, get capsaicin in many different forms. You can add hot sauce to something you're having at lunch. You'll have, expect to have less of a snack desire at, uh, in the middle of the afternoon. These are simple little things, but most of us don't grow up eating spicy foods. So being able to increase your metabolism by having a bit more spice in our meals is a, is a change from the routine, but it's a fun change. It's a change that makes you think I'm a little different, I'm a little better than I used to be. And it's not onerous, I'm not taking anything away from you, I'm giving you something in order to make it easier for you to, to, for you to make the other decisions.